if you've got one side that's a little bit weaker you're going to have a stronger arm so then it's always good to isolate them and just do that weaker one first sometimes you're always going to have one side that pushes a little bit more than the other which is stronger whether it be legs or arms so it's all relevant to what you're doing at the time you can't compare a pin loaded stack to free weights so it's just totally different so yeah you could curl 200 pounds on a barbell curl pin loaded you do 300 200 pound free weight you probably wouldn't move it so Now that machine is not actually designed to do pec flies. That actually works. <laughs> yeah. Just to... I've done on these, well, yeah, because it's on your arms a bit, but you can still do it. Most pec decks and that or cable flies are wider, but you can still do it. Just because it's close together at the top, you can still do a fly movement. Don't be put off. <laughs> it's okay, people. And then could... once, once you've done that, once, that... You, once you're warmed up, then you can bring it down to do your standing presses if you want like this but of course you can do them standing like this you could also bring a bench over and you could do bench presses with the cables as well inclined flat any pressing movement even if you put it all the way to the ground you could sit there and do shoulder presses with it. And then, you know, you put it down there, you could do your shoulder presses. And then when it's down there, of course, like I said, you'd bring a bench over for all the movements. But let's just say you got a bench, bench there. You'd be doing your shoulder presses, which you can do one arm, both arms, standing standing all seated you know so you got them both now that was one question i was going to ask you have, when, you, noticed, have you noticed how much traction the arnold shoulder press one yeah. <laughs> but then too while you're here you can do your laterals Now, with, with isolation exercises, yes. would your preference be to do them two-handed, one-handed, uh, or no preference both. at all? I've always done both. I prefer two, but if you've got one side that's a little bit weaker, you're going to have a stronger arm. So then it's always good to isolate them and just do that weaker one first sometimes. You're always going to have one side that pushes a little bit more than the other, which is stronger, whether it be legs or arms. So. So you can do your laterals here like this and then when you finish your laterals if you lowered it all the way down then you could do your shrugs and then you can do your upright rows so many things to do so you can do your shrugs your upright rows your presses and then when you take it down more plus two you don't have to have these handles you can put a bar on it once you've done that you can do biceps so you can do single arm do them both together or put an attachment bar on and do barbell curls and then while the bars on there you can do barbell rows you could do like together you could put a handle on it or you can just use the single handles and do you know rows from down low you can do rows from up high rows from just in front of you with the single handed ones you know you could have a thing here and just do the one arm like a dumbbell but you're using the cable it's almost like chuck norris's machine you can do everything <laughs> on it so this as i said this machine is just designed for one handle use at a time you can see how the yeah. the pulleys are are angled but, yeah. but we we use the, but like i said you can we use you it can either put a bar on or you can do like you know you clip them together but but, but we use it two-handed and we we don't notice anything but no. can, can you notice anything no feels good both ways because uh, like this is one of our most 
used machine by uh, by well, us. Like I said it doesn't take up any room, and like I said, the variety of exercises you can do on it. Like I said, you can clip them together, so you pull as one. You know what I mean? Yep. But you know, doing them singly is good because you get a better squeeze. Doing them like isolateral type. But there's so many things you can do. Arms, shoulders, chest, triceps. Well, one, 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 one critic. Well, who's criticizing? No, well, people before they buy it. Oh. They, I think the the weight stacks now are fifty kilos. The, yeah. This this one's not fifty kilos. Uh huh. Um, do you, I know you're not in peak physical condition. Uh mm -hmm. Would that be enough weight for you, considering you've for a cable used... movement? Yeah. You can get like I said. That's only little. Well, I've only got on what three plates there. If I was to go lower, like down there, like that there. I've still got what one, two, three, four, five, six plates to go to the yeah. bottom. But even that weight there, that feels, I would say heavy, but you can feel the weight. Yep. And I'm getting a good contraction. So just doing this exercise properly, using good form, contracting the muscle, I'm starting to get a pump. So your body can't see the weight. <laughs> so going by feel, your muscle doesn't have eyes. So if you do that good, with good form, like I'm getting a good pump there in my lat, so weights are relevant if you're doing the exercise properly. But also, can you just uh, point out to the, the viewers that there is a massive difference between what weight you can lift with a cable versus a Free barbell weight, exactly. and a dumbbell? There's a big difference. <laughs> I remember I used to see people, I bench 400, I'm like, bench 400, yeah, on a pin loaded, you know, that's a big difference between 400 yeah. pounds on a free bar. So it's all relevant to what you're doing at the time. You can't compare a pin loaded stack to free weights. So it's just totally different. So, yeah, you could curl 200 pounds on a barbell curl, pin loaded, you do 300, 200 pound free weight, you probably wouldn't move it. So it's all different. Pulley systems are different. You can have one or two pulleys, and I've seen machines that have maybe six pulleys yep. that goes through, which makes it feel totally different again. But like I said, you just want to feel the muscle and contract the muscle, get a pump and work the muscle. And if you're doing it correctly, that stack there is enough. Cause it's not like a machine you're going to be doing PBs on, <laughs> personal bests or PRs, personal records and now, whatever it is. But if you just want to have a good workout, work the muscle, and feel the muscle get a good pump that's more than enough this isn't a hero machine okay you're not going to be a hero on it and like break records just get on there and do the exercises and you'll have a great workout because linus was you when you were using that you were using it for um flies yeah. when you're preparing for a, a a bench press competition mm -hmm. did you ever max it out i try to but is it's um because it's cable your stabilizer tends to give out yeah if you did heavy bench press and then you want to do cable flies or you want to be able to stabilize your weight muscle can't take it but your mm -hmm. they're going to be bubbly yeah so yeah, I guess do you, you do your heavy work on the barbell yeah. and the dumbbell and then yeah. you come over here and you these are good like to finish on or like but even if this is all you had if you warm up and just slowly go down you can still get a great workout that's why you don't have to be, oh, I've got to go free weights and break records. If you're the average person who wants to get in shape, have a good workout, that's plenty of weight to do your shoulders, your chest, your back, your arms, everything. You could even hold it if you wanted and do lunges with it. I'm sure you have a belt you can clip on the belt. So when you're doing the lunges, yep. you've got the weight pulling you. I'm sure you could put it on the belt, a belt here and almost do like belt squats with it. So. You know, there's plenty of exercises you can do with just this and get a great workout. Like I said, if you're the average person or just even like myself, if I had this at home, I'd use it. But like I said, I would have done free weight movements first yep. and then do this. But then there's days I don't want to do free weights. So I could do the whole workout on here and get a great workout by getting a great pump. You're going to get the lactic acid build up and you can have a great workout by doing the movements correctly and really focusing on the muscles you're working. So. Anyone that says that isn't really into training. They're just like, 
ego lifters for the gram. 